welcome back to the channel have a cup of coffee have a snack have something sit down and enjoy this video the sim that you're looking at her name is tanya royale and tanya is the founder of our legacy challenge now this is going to be a legacy challenge but i am not going to be following all of the rules of the legacy challenge now i did record a part one but for some reason the part one just wasn't up to par so i decided that i wasn't going to restart but i actually am just going to pick up from where i left off now she moved into the lot she had about eight thousand simoleons left when she moved into the lot we were able to build ourselves this house here a lot of these um cc items were actually like one simoleon like the fridge was one simoleon and so on so we were able to build the house and kind of furnish it then i paid about 800 or so simoleons to kind of get her um situated she had to pay like an agent and that kind of stuff to help her to find a job um and now that the agent has found her the job because she had to pay for a lot of different things uh she actually paid for classes to learn the painting skill so she's on level five of the painting skill and now her agent has found her a job but in order for her to accept the job she has to pay the agent 300 simoleons which we are kind of working towards right now so that she can go ahead and pay the agent so i'm kind of just gonna go ahead and have her do an abstract painting maybe a large one just so that we can go ahead and get ourselves situated with that money so we can start our very first job we are currently living here in brindleton bay and I must say, I really do love Brindleton Bay. I love just how chill and, you know, atmospheric it feels. However, I do kind of want to skip forward to the summer season. Um, so I'm just going to do that really quick. I really hate spring. I don't know why, but we're going to kind of skip forward to the summer season. I do want to show you guys the little house that we built. It's not really the best house in the world, but this is where we live. Um, and you guys already got a quick overview of it. We've got kitchen, living, dining, there's a bathroom, and then there is her bedroom right here. In terms of Sims, the only person she knows is a dog named Baxter. We actually met Baxter the very first time when we moved in. She went to the pier and she actually met Baxter there and it was actually pretty cool is this dog oh my god it's a cat and i literally asked is this dog sounding like a cat oh my god i'm so stupid so anyways right now she is working on a painting now let me just tell you guys a little bit about miss lady here she's always been a bigger girl ever since she was young she has struggled very much with her body weight so it has been a thing she has very much all together let herself go she was in a very good relationship at one point and uh, the relationship started to go downhill when she started gaining weight her boyfriend at the time just fell out of love with her he wasn't into her looks anymore he felt like she was getting too big and it didn't help that when they broke up she was just really much into um, fast food she was eating a lot of fast food at the time and she was really just letting herself go however uh -huh. Now she's at a point where she is having a lot more respect for herself. However, she still just does not like going to the gym and she does not like exercise and that kind of stuff. And um, slowly but surely, it is taking some, wow, you are a one-star celebrity. How is that even possible? So she's a one-star celebrity. I didn't even think that that was going to happen, but... Um, I'm not really into focusing on the celebrity thing. I am going to have her go ahead and um, we're going to take out the 300 simoleons. So with the 300, she has paid her agent. So now we can go ahead and have her join a career. I really don't know why she decided to go ahead and paint something else, but I guess she's really just feeling the motion right now. So I'm going to have her go ahead and apply for a career in the painting career. She's going to be an artist and... Um, then I think maybe we can try to go out today. It's actually 2.54, so it's a perfect time. We are going to go ahead and try to get her job. So we have artist, which makes 10 simoleons an hour. And then we also have painter career, a painter career, which makes 21 simoleons an hour. So we're going to kind of focus on that career. She's going to make that 21 simoleons an hour. She needs to create paintings. So I think I'm going to have her go ahead and resume this figure painting here, which she is um, currently doing, because we do want to gain um, some good performance so that when she starts off the job, she can start off at a good pace. So we're gonna sell this to the art gallery, and I think we're gonna do a nice little 
um, medium realism painting. Just so that we can kind of um, have a little bit more money. I also see there's someone at our door. Who is this? So Angelina Jolie. Oh, okay. Go off. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Angelina Jolie is at our front door. So that, that just gave me a tickle. Um but yeah. Angelina Jolie, I could I couldn't even say that with a straight face without laughing just now, but she's at our front door and uh, she's probably going to leave soon. Um but I kind of wanted to get this painting done. So uh yep, she is about to leave, but we've got the painting done and I think right now Tanya is going to go ahead and say hi to her. This is actually pretty cute. I've never seen this painting before, so I think I'm going to hold on to that one. So right now she is inviting Angelina into the house. We don't really have much stuff inside of this house to say like we're being entertaining or anything like that. We're going to stitch from patterns. I'm going to do a large hoop and I think we're going to do a large hoop rainbow. I also want her to sell items on Plopsy when the time comes around so we can get a little bit of some extra money you know having her sell a couple of items so we're gonna talk to angelina we are gonna go ahead and kind of ask her about her day and that kind of stuff maybe enthuse about cross stitching because she seems a little bit curious she wants to know you know why we're cross stitching and if it's an easy thing to do so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of chat it up a little bit with her enthuse about our celebrity idol because i mean it is Angelina Jolie, of course, so we're going to do a little bit of celebrity chat. <laughs> and then we're also going to go ahead and kind of talk about our dreams. Her dream is to eventually just have kids and be a super parent. So that is something to think about. So she also needs to use the toilet. We're going to have her go ahead and use the toilet. I feel like these pants are always glitching out. I'm going to take her into class while we're here. I'm just going to kind of pop into cast and remove those pants because I think those pants are very, very glitchy. They glitch out a lot. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and remove them. So she is a very big. She's like the biggest size there is. Um, we will be having her go to the gym. The thing is with this girl, she does not like the gym. So we might have a few issues, you know, with her. Um, this is her hot weather wear, right? We're going to have a few issues with her not wanting to go to the gym and so on and so forth. I think maybe I need like a lighter color, something that is a little bit more flattering. I mean, she's cute with the black on, but it would be nice to have something a little bit different. I'm also going to change color of her shoes, maybe. Um, maybe some sandals or slippers or something would be nice for this outfit. Oh, this is so cute. So we have some purple sandals. We're going to put the purple sandals on her. We also have a ring here that's kind of messing up her. So we have a ring and then we have this um, bracelet on and it's kind of messing up her thing. So we're going to go ahead and take those off. And um, yeah, as you guys can see, this is miss lady i had to go ahead and change those um pants because as you can see they were just like stretching across the room so we have the cross stitch st skill and a couple other things that kind of popped up here on the um notification wall which we're gonna go ahead and get rid of i know miss lady is sitting here right now but i kind of want to have her go out to a bar because she does have the want to go to a bar and get something to drink so i think we're going to step out for a little bit and we're probably going to go down to we're gonna find a bar somewhere i think we're gonna go to oasis springs oasis springs should have a bar no all right guys we've just arrived at the rio vineyard and it looks like the, the bar is pretty um empty we're gonna go ahead and order a drink i think we're gonna do a nice soft shadow of vornalino because she does love red wine there's also this guy in here rick hodge i think we're gonna kind of chat it up with him for a little bit we do need to try and find ourselves um a partner so she can start off this legacy so we are going to just chat it up with this guy here see how he is feeling uh so far it seems as though he has a sentiment let's go ahead and check that out so Rick has a sentiment with her and um, her first impression of Rick is that he is pretentious and he thinks that she is responsible. So first impressions aren't really, I guess, sometimes they say first impressions are everything. So um, let's just kind of see. Um, let's just continue talking to him and kind of see where this conversation is going to go. Let's go ahead and discuss today's horoscope. We can talk a little bit about our dreams. And why would you try to break up with someone you're not even in a relationship with? 
with. That would be hard and AF. Go ahead and discuss some advanced cooking positive. techniques. There's also ah, Mr. Frederick Montgomery, who she is just sitting bee here. Bee I don't know. He's like when watching the, the TV. This place is absolutely perfect. It was created by Silros and it is perfect for weddings because it has everything that you need. There is a reception area right here, the wedding area. There's also an area for dancing. There is a bar. There is a preparation room for like the bride and groom. It's just really nice. There's a nice little bathroom area that you can take a shower at and so on. And there's also a wishing well over here, which we're going to go ahead and make a wish. And I think we're going to wish for simoleons. I don't know if we're going to get any simoleons whatsoever, but it doesn't hurt to make a wish at the little wishing well. Is it me or there's like this pink spot in her shirt? I have no idea. All right, so she's going to go ahead and check out the wishing well because we've heard some great things about this wishing well right here. We've heard that this wishing well will grant our wishes. So let's see. Oh, wow. Tanya just beat the one in 175 million odds and won the lottery. That's a lot of simoleons. That's amazing. I noticed these days I am getting super lucky with my Sims winning the lottery. For instance, you know that lottery one where you have to buy the lottery ticket. So my personal household, Sim, she actually won the lottery. Um, and it's just been so amazing how lucky my Sims are suddenly just getting super lucky. So we came over here with about 200 and something simoleons. And now we have 12,289 simoleons in the bank. Somebody please tell me why this little girl is running around here with no clothes on. I do have MC command center, so I think we can go ahead and do MC dresser and kind of just randomize her outfit, randomize her clothing because she cannot be walking around my town as a teenager with no clothes on. We also have another teen here, Shiva Ocean. So I'm seeing a lot of teens just running around the neighborhood. My Sim must really love painting because every opportunity that she sees where there is an easel, she grabs the opportunity to do a painting. And she is literally on level six right now. Tanya can now create high skill classic paintings, medium skill realism paintings, and medium skill abstract paintings. So this is pretty good. I'm going to have her paint this. And hopefully, maybe it will actually be um, worth something. A lot of social bunny worthy things happen to Tanya today. Open social bunny on your phone to post about them. To disable social bunny notifications, go to your phone, choose social bunny, and select turn off notifications. We're going to do a new post, and we're going to post about our travel. We're going to do an energized, or let's do a happy narrative. Because she feels quite happy. We're going to add Rick to our contact list and Angelina to our contact list as well. Because these are the only people that we know right now. Paula. All right. So the painting went well. She's about to go ahead and order another drink. But I'm going to sell this to the art gallery. I feel like she's doing her own thing. Yep. My autonomy was... Um, my autonomy was not looking too hot right now. All right. So it is... 11 13 p.m it's actually pretty late so i'm gonna have um tanya go ahead and oh wait tanya pause for a cause there is this dashing young man vincent barnhart we're gonna go ahead and give mr vincent here a friendly introduction it could pose to be a very oh david collins friendly introduction blah 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 is he a vampire? He is a vampire. Ooh, imagine incorporating some vampirical stuff into this. Oh, this is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and ask him if he's single because I don't. I want. I, I need to know. Like right away, we need to know. Are you single? And then we have David Collins. I can't remember who created the Sim. Okay, so Vincent is loyal, and Vincent is single. Oh, Mr. Vampire, bite me, flirt. I know it seems a little bit early, but we're going to flirt with him. 
Then we're going to ask this one if he's single. We're not trying to be a host, but I mean, look at all these hot men sitting at this table that we're at. Are you for real? David is single. Oh, the dating pool just got a little bit deeper. So <laughs> we're also going to go ahead and chat it up with Danny Peralta. I do want to see if Mr. Peralta here is single as well. Um, it's nice that we know now who these people are. Does he think that we're a little bit too friendly? Um, I think I think he thinks that we're a little bit too friendly. Let's go in and ask him if he's single. Dave seems really interesting, though. So, you guys, it's just so many hot men. Look at Thomas. Thomas. Thomas Lane. Thomas Klein. Oh, there's so many hot men here. Funny introduction. Callan. Funny introduction. Avery Epworth. Friendly introduction. Carl Cass friendly introduction so we're gonna give some introductions and then we're going to head home because i think she has work tomorrow she's working like nine hours so we definitely are just gonna chat it up with these guys and then we're going to head home i also need to add them to our social bunny so um we're gonna open up social bunny and we're going to add them to our contact list so we're gonna add david we're gonna add vincent we're gonna add danny and we're gonna add tobias and we're gonna go ahead and head home you guys because it is it has been a night now she is just looking like look at all these fine men i mean you cannot tell me that these men are not fine let's just kind of open up some sim profiles right here her first impression tobias doesn't like her anti-crush he doesn't like tanya okay you fat phobic bitch sorry <laughs> okay so he doesn't like us okay so we can just um we can just uh say that we he doesn't he doesn't like us so we can keep him off the list danny thinks that she's clingy and she thinks that danny's in dreamland Oh my goodness, you guys. It's like the more I'm going down the dating pool, the sh the the more shallow the dating pool seems to be getting. <laughs> this is kind of interesting in a sense because it's just like who I think should be for her is really not for her. So we're going to go ahead and use the toilet. I'm going to have her brush her teeth. Then she's going to take a shower and then we're going to have her head off to bed and then probably in the morning she can do a little bit of some um she can do a little bit of something to eat before she heads off to work i kind of did want to check out what vinton vincent's um sentiment so vincent doesn't have a sentiment about us but we do know that he is loyal and she does need that in her life and then david she thinks that David is funny, but David doesn't really have a sentiment, which is understandable because I don't think she really and truly got to know who David was as a person. Um, but she did have a little bit of a chat with Vincent and she has learned that Vincent is a very loyal person. So that's pretty pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have her prepare herself for bed and then she's gonna head off and i will see you guys in the morning once she's up it is 6 43 in the morning and tanya has just woken up from her slumber right now she is going to go ahead and prepare herself some breakfast she's feeling overall happy the decorations are there and you know she is about to eat something a little bit healthy today so she's feeling pretty good she's also feeling super snuggly from loving sleepwear tanya is ready to curl up in bed with a good book in her favorite attire so this is why i tell you guys it's really good to set your likes before you get into the game because your sim gets these amazing buffs and these amazing moodlets whenever they are doing something that they like and i truly and truly truly believe that this is just one of the most amazing oh. things that ea could have ever added because now the sims have a little bit more personality than we kind of would have hoped for which is perfect all right, so I think she's making um a fruit thing this morning, which is pretty nice. You know, she's getting herself some spring, spring fruit charcuterie is what she made this morning for breakfast. She doesn't really like breakfast food, so that's why I decided to go for something that is not eggs and bacon and that kind of stuff because she doesn't really like, she does not 
like breakfast food. I don't think I went in to tell you guys about her traits. So she's family oriented, she's shy, and she's logical. And these other traits that you're seeing here are, I think, from the more personality mod or something like that. Then these are her preferences, the things that she likes and the things that she dislikes. I'm just going to hover over them. You can pause to see what they are if you want to. And she just had like a little bit of a romance thing and a friendship thing from someone. I don't know who that is, but we're going to send a text message to David. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're also going to use the social bunny to kind of... um open up some stuff traveling is fun but sometimes it's just good to be home we have three love interactions two rolling the eyes and one laugh you look like a shaved llama really oh oh wow angelina so you're just gonna bully us you know what i think we're gonna go ahead and remove you you being a little bit too extra and Tobias, we can remove you as well because you never really said anything nice to us. So go ahead and send a friendly message to um, Vincent. And then we can also send a little bit of a friendly message to David as well, just to kind of see what it is. She's like, Vincent, I'm so happy I have a friend like you. David, what's up, buddy? Okay, that's pretty nice. All right, so she's feeling confident from perfect post. That post is going to get a ton of engagement. I'm certain of it. She's feeling quite certain. And she's also happy about the decor of the house. We have a stray, her, his name, his or her. I don't even know if it's a male or a female. But the name is Tepe. So I'm going to go ahead and give Tepe a friendly introduction. It is actually a cute dog. And usually I don't ever really see cute strays. But this one is actually kind of cute. I really like this one. I am thinking of maybe having a pet for her. I feel like she would do really good yeah. with a pet. We're also going to give Tepe a nice little pet. And we can also give oh, Tepe a treat. Aww. And praise Shiny him. Talk to him. I don't even know if it's a him or a her. But we're going to keep going and talking. And it ah, seems like they have such a good friendship. Ah. But like, the friendship finger. seems to be going up pretty quickly, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, another thing that we can do is, pet care wise, we can we can do all of those stuff, even though it's a stray. I didn't even know that. Let's go in and offer friendship, and see if Tepe is going to take our offer of friendship. She also wants to do a couple of other things. For once, she wants to go diving. Yes, in our mouth. That's crazy. She wants to go diving and she also wants to have a drink from liking bar drinks. We literally went to the bar. Why wasn't this checked off? She also wants to have a dream date. Going on a date is one thing, but going on a dream date is something else. And Tanya is quivering with anticipation. She wants to earn a gold rating on a date. Hopefully we'll meet Tepe again because I really think that we could adopt Tepe. The dog is just absolutely fantastic. And I hope that maybe we will meet the dog again because you can't really like call them or anything like that. Obviously they're dogs, but she does know Tepe. So that's pretty awesome. She's also feeling uncomfortable. Whiny from workwear. Itchy color, unflattering silhouette, or just boring. Tanya doesn't like her work clothes. So she's feeling super uncomfortable at work today. And all of this because she doesn't like her work wear, which I'm pretty sure once she gets home from work, she's just going to hop out of that work outfit. So Tanya's home. She brought home 168 simoleons. She's also feeling uncomfortable because of a post on Social Bunny, which I have no idea what post she is talking about, but she is feeling a certain type of way. So I think it is about time we kind of get this chickadee out of that outfit that she is in right now because she is not liking it one bit. I think I need to change the dresser drawer because I'm not able to click it so that we can have her change her outfit from there. So I'm going to go ahead and change the dresser drawers. I'll probably give her um, this one. I think this one is kind of cute. Uh, so we can do this. And then maybe change up her bed. I kind of wanted to give her a nicer bed. 
I decided to go with this uh, woohoo bed by 6M. That's um, <laughs> really cute. It's the heart shaped bed from The Sims 2, which I really, really like. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and change that up for her. I also need to go ahead and have her cook herself something. Or maybe we can just go ahead and get ourselves some leftovers. And I think maybe we might just invite um, Vincent. I just want to invite Vincent to hang out at the current lot. Probably spend some time with Vincent. She wants to become a freelance fashion photographer. So like find a job from a phone or computer. Choose freelancer from the given list and select freelance fashion photographer. I am dead. All right, so he arrived pretty quickly. That was fast, but then again, he is a vampire. Let's talk a little bit about volunteer work, and let's also kind of ask him about his day, because, I mean, that should have been the first thing that we asked him. We should have probably asked him about his day, but I think she was just really um, frustrated with her work, and she's wondering if there is any um, volunteer jobs that she could possibly do right now. Also, let's go ahead and prepare a crazy <laughs> scheme and then we're also just gonna chat to him let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about vincent or colin not, not colin david either vincent or david or maybe even rick but i feel like vincent kind of likes her in a sense i'm not too sure but we can keep chatting it up with him and seeing just how that really goes so we're gonna go ahead and enthuse about the moon signs and we're also going to talk about our we weather preferences. You know, it's always nice to get to know the person who we're talking to. So right now, she's just going to go ahead and talk to him. She is going to encourage recycling. Express the need for a drink. And one thing she wants to do is she wants to go to the beach. Oh, wow. So we have learned the following traits about Vincent. He has cold acclimation, heat acclimation, he's ice proof, heat proof, waterproof, and he is a storm chaser sim. We have learned a lot about Vincent within that short time that we've just met him. And he is a grandmaster vampire. You literally just invited this man to come into your house and suck on your neck. As if things could not be worse. Oh my gosh. So she's gonna talk about changing her hairstyle. And she's also going to suggest a vacation activity. Guys, I promise y'all by tomorrow, he's going to be in this house sucking on Tanya's neck because Tanya was stupid enough to let this man come into her house. Lord, Tanya, what you got yourself into, girl? You done invited this man. You don't know him from Jack Squidly Dots. You invited him into your house. Now he's going to suck on your neck. <laughs> I'm not saying that that's what he's technically going to do, but I mean, that's what vampires do. Once they get their foot through the door, tonight they're going to be over in your house whispering in your ears about how they want to suck on your neck. All right, so she's having a deep conversation with him, and we are getting a phone call from Rick. Hey, Tanya. Masika has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Okay, well, I guess we can take Rick off the dating board because he is out here getting calls from Masika to go on dates. So we're going to say yes. Go for it. I mean, is it a reach for her to be reaching for a guy of this kind of stature? I'm not too sure. But it is giving off this hot vampire type guy type you know wattpad story vibe you know <laughs> the girl who gets the vampire but the girl that everybody deems is unattractive the vampire finds to be super hot or maybe he's just thinking she's hot because he's thinking if i if i drain her just if i bite her neck at just the right i might be able to get the the sweetest amount of blood you know he's probably just thinking about that but i kind of want to incorporate some vampirica into this i i I don't know what it is. I just feel as though I have not played with vampires before. And maybe this is an opportunity to kind of delve into it. So that would be perfect as well. So she's going to go ahead and she is going to talk about her flavor preferences. And we're also going to go ahead and discuss the latest trailers. If I feel as though she is learning a lot about <laughs> Mr. Vincent here, which he is very forthcoming when it comes to 
telling us what about himself. As you guys can see, she has you learned that horrible. he's a music lover. She's the also learned that it. he likes it's honey. So that is pretty much a lot. <laughs> However, we have oh, so she she now knows all of his traits. He's a genius. He's loyal and he's a music lover. And in terms of his likes and dislikes, in terms of flavors, we know that he likes honey. So that's amazing. Maybe the next time when he comes over, we can make like a honey cake or something. We'll have to buy like a bee box or something. But honestly, I like the way the friendship is going. She's going to talk about her unconditional love for family and how she can't wait to have kids someday. And she's also going to talk about her favorite holiday preferences. And maybe he will be able to share a little bit of information about what holidays he loves as well. Okay, so I don't I don't know if he's like gonna tell us if he likes if he prefers summer or winter or whatever the case is. But I kind of like the vibe that I'm getting from the two of them. I feel like the two of them make a perfect peer. A hero's presence from talking with a resistance hero. Some Sims have such an aura of bravery and selflessness around them. It's inspiring to be in their presence. She's also having a stimulating conversation and. And she, oh my Nelfi gosh, Duba. this is so nice. Yusharu. Blech, Grana breakfast. Ura. So I guess she doesn't one. really like having breakfast, but I did make her have breakfast earlier. She also was talking about her hairstyle. <laughs> and now she's like, it just doesn't make sense from being next to a whimsical sim. Being around the sim really does not make sense for Tanya. Their mindset is confusing and Tanya can't seem to logically explain it. So... Sometimes she feels like she doesn't understand him. And then one time she's feeling like she does. She's also going to enthuse about the power of prayer and how it's important to pray for, you know, health and strength and long life and that kind of stuff. So it is 9.05 p.m., you guys. Time has fluttered by and these two have just been having one of the nicest conversations that Tanya has probably had with any man in quite some time. I'm going to have her go ahead and light the fireplace. Oh, wait. No, 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 sweetie. No, no, no. Put it out. Extinguish it, child. Put it out. It's. I just realized the heat that was coming off from outside. And it's the summertime. Girl, you putting on fireplaces in the summertime? I forgot we weren't in spring anymore because I kind of fast forwarded it. So I really should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. So he is heading out, which is pretty nice. I'm going to have her go ahead and wash her hands. She's going to brush her teeth. And then, guys, she is about to head off to bed. We are going to end off this first episode right here. Let me know in the comment section which guy you think is suitable for us to start off our legacy with. Should we continue to fill out both of them? Should we try to go on a date with them at different times? Um, because I'm honestly liking the vibe that Vincent is giving off. I feel like her and Vincent have a lot in common. And then I also want to get to know David a little bit more. So it's definitely between David and Vincent. However, it seems like Vincent is really taking the cake. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What steps should I take? Who should she choose? Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.